Hey guys, it's Marty Cummings reporting for Broadway Speaks Out at Bette Midler's annual Halloween Ball at the elegant and gorgeous Waldorf Astoria. You're gorgeous. Thank you. I'm just oh. glittering as much as I possibly I love, can. I wore this for you because I wanted so to be much. shiny like you. Well, I am shiny. You I'm a are. show girl. I'm actually, I'm a show ghoul. Yes, and uh, in Las Vegas. I am. The show ghoul must go on. Yes, honey. So tell us a little bit about the New York Restoration New Project. New York Restoration Project is a group that I founded in uh, 1995. We started out just cleaning parks and open spaces, and since then we have been, uh, we've we've picked up about 2,000 tons of garbage all over New York City. We have uh, 55 community gardens where we grow fruits and vegetables. We teach children environmental science. We uh, we have camping programs, rowing programs. We are um, we work very closely with the parks department, and we are uh, really uh, we've turned ourselves from a, just a cleaning and greeting organization to a, a kind of an institution. that people really count on us to be uh, for help. They count on us for guidance. They count on us to, to be there for them, and, and we are. Well, thank you. And we're in the neighborhoods where nobody else is. Yes. Our model is the Central Park Conservancy, which is a fantastic organization. They uh, look after uh, Central Park and have uh, made it and turned it into this jewel. Uh, but that, they started that in 1982, and they were our, my model. And we you actually serve on most neighborhoods where there's no, a very little parkland. Thank you for making our city beautiful. My pleasure. And thank you for giving me Hocus Pocus to get up Isn't for it Halloween. Great? Wow. Yes. Yeah, my thank favorite. You. Thank you. <laughs> so my nice favorite. to meet you. Nice thank to meet you. you too. I'll see you thank again. You. When he held in his arms. Look at this outfit. You look phenomenal. Thank you. So how did you get involved with Bette Midler and this organization? Oh, I've been a big supporter of her foundation and uh, and she of mine and we're uh, good friends. And so I always come and it's always fun. Well, yes. I just love this headpiece. Thank you. So what's like a fun, helpful tip for, I have lots of nieces and nephews, what's something good to help them on Halloween, like a little snack or something? Oh, well, uh, children should be fed organic vegetables on Halloween only, no candy whatsoever, uh, and just plain apple cider with a cinnamon stick. <laughs> and they'll hate you forever. But it will be good for them. I'm going to call my brothers tonight and tell them that Martha Carrot Stewart sticks and up. celery sticks only. Got it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have fun tonight. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Look at this outfit. <laughs> what made you decide to do a pirate theme? I don't know. I think I was feeling like a bad girl. <gasps> like a bad girl. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get involved with Bette Midler and this organization? Well, I just heard that she was doing this and uh, we got an invitation in the mail and I thought, yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful cause, and I'm pleased to be a part of it. That's yeah. good. You look fabulous. And have Thank fun. You. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Happy Halloween to you. Hi there. I see you're going with the Crosby, Stills, and Nash look. Well, yes, I am. I'm a little Stephen Sills and David Crosby crossed. Okay. Um, and, of course, it is the 40th anniversary of Woodstock, so how could, we not, how could we not be here to celebrate that? And you're going to be judging the costume contest here tonight, so what are you specifically looking for in people's costumes? Well, I like something that is, it's combination. Unexpected but perfectly done. Detail, detail, detail. So uh, something that makes me smile, something that's unexpected, but also something that's really perfectly done. Down to the shoes. I look at it all. Good. And one last question. How did you get involved with this organization and Bette Midler? Well, I've known Bette for a very, very long time. And I have to say, you know, whenever people question whether or not you can make a difference uh, and can you see the difference, uh, she certainly has done an amazing job and I think all over New York we see the difference so it's a fun night you see the difference I love bet and it's just great to be here to help support her great well good luck judging and have fun thank you oh boy went back to Napoli I saw you guys in concert when I was eight years old Thank you My very much. My dad loves when you was guys. That in 1942. It was a, yes, it was so long ago. You well, look great. His grandfather. That's good. That's yeah, good. No, my dad. I grew up with your music. So how did you guys get involved with this organization? We, we love Bet. We love Bet, and we love what she stands for. Every time I've gone walking with Bet Midler in Manhattan, it takes an hours because she's always stopping to pick up litter and put it in litter cans. I swear to God, she means it from the bottom of her heart to try and make the place a more beautiful place to wake up to and deal with the rest of your day. Well, this city looks so great now. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. Yeah. yeah I got it. But like, I was, I lived in the city in the early '60s, and it went way, way downhill, and now 
it's like glistening bison by comparison. Coming and back this up. time of year in the city is just the best. Yes, the fall, beautiful crisp weather. Oh, yep. Yeah. yep, we like it. And you guys are excited to perform tonight, I'm sure. We are definitely going to perform tonight. Very have fun, and it's so nice to meet you. I'm going to call my dad as soon as I get to know. You're very well. Please Hello. do that. Thank so you, So you're only eight years old. You look I'm fantastic. <laughs> Dangerous. You at the march in Washington. Yeah, I was there. It was awesome. Well, I was mean, you. you. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I'm like getting... The march was amazing, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was so beautiful. The best part was being in front of the White House, saying... Oh, and my, walking mama, by. Mama, I know. Mary mama. Let my mommy... I made them change it to mommy to mama. Mommy. I love because it. Because I have kids in one... Kid calls one mommy and one mama, and it sounds better, mommy, mama. I love you know. You do the Rosie Cruz a lot. So love like, the Rosie. I'm a gay. I am coming out that's right fun. now. Well, that's what our show's all about. Yes. Out. Yes, and I'm out, baby. That's if good. anyone's out, yeah. Well, so how did you, on, in other charity events other than gay things, how yeah. did you get hooked up with Bette Midler in this organization? You know, Bette asked me to do her spring picnic. I did it twice, actually. Um, and then she, I couldn't believe she asked me to do Halloween because I've d been dying to come to this thing forever. Um, but Bet actually came and saw me perform and has been amazing to me ever since. And I love this charity is the most amazing thing in the entire. I mean, it's incredible what she does for this city. I know it is. Un and, and if you go to Fort Tryon Park, I mean, it's like a completely different place than it was before. And I got to tell you. She cares so much. You, you've never met anyone who truly puts, you know, so much of her heart and soul into, the, I mean, she really, really, this is, there's no bullshit here. She loves this and it makes you just want to help, you know, and do more and do more. And it beautifies the city. And she's picked a hell of a place to have it. I place. can't believe it. Gorgeous. Well, thank you so much. And have I'm sitting tonight. in the balcony. Oh. my house, my house, I'm gonna give you candy. Come on to my house, my house, I'm gonna give you apple and a plum and an apricot to do I? Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, I